Clayton Vargesy here again with Cottonwood Records. I just finished sitting down with Lethbridge-based, soon-to-be country legend Mark Maxwell to talk about his original, The Drifter. Check it out. So is it Drifter or The Drifter? Uh, because Drifter is such a prominent part of the song, people usually say, oh, play The Drifter song. So it's a mix. The Drifter, Drifter, what any, I mean, I guess as long as people like it. <laughs> yeah. How long has it been in the works, that song? I wrote that song in early 2013, uh, rolled out of bed about 2.30 in the morning. It was from a dream that I had had. And actually, I guess the, the song tells the story of the dream that I had. And I, I woke up with this rhythm that I felt and I thought, oh, well, I, I can't wait till morning to, mm -hmm. to put that down. So I got up out of bed 2.30 in the morning and that's where that song was born. Took me, took me 45 minutes to write, still even got a decent night's sleep out of it. So did it start with the, the rhythm first or did it start with? Yeah, I sat for about five minutes and just played that same rhythm part over and over and just while playing it tried to to bring the idea in my head and yeah it's that, really catchy like I, I love the rhythm well, that's, that's you, good that's what yeah it's great what how, how do you um how do you expand on that when you do get to the point that you're like writing lyrics to the rhythm and that sort of stuff how do you you know what i, I don't even know it a lot of my songwriting is uh, it's not forced it's mm -hmm. it's just natural whatever whatever's coming out of me at that time is what gets put down. And if I can't finish a song in one go, then you come back to it in a time when, when you're in that same kind of mental space. Mm -hmm. Is it a lot of uh, tweaking, like back and forth? Yeah, oh, yeah. Something? Yeah, well, I mean, once that song was written, I mean, I've played with it now probably four or five times, just, you know, just getting it to where, well, to where it is now. Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I think songs are always in the work, so you can always tweak and change to what's fitting in your life nowadays because mm -hmm. something that i wrote in 2013 has a lot different emotion and meaning than it has now yeah so touching on that like that is a while back right so how do you rechannel that emotion for that song you know what with this song specifically every time i start playing that rhythm mm -hmm. it takes me right into that song like it i don't know there's something about that old bluesy folk kind of sound of you know, the drifter lifestyle, the, you know, the, the old freight trains and, you know, I guess it goes back to the Robert Johnson, uh, crossroads kind of influence about the, I mean, the one line in the song is because the devil's got my soul mm -hmm. and that, that, I mean, a lot of blues is based around that whole kind of, uh, you know, selling your soul and working around that. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, I haven't sold my soul to the devil, but <laughs> Not yet, eh? but that that certain feel, like it, it brings a certain emotion to a song. Yeah, and it, it really, like, you really paint a picture with that song. Was that the intention yeah, when you started yeah. writing? Yeah, to the tell lyrics? to tell a story and to make people, I guess, for people to think of it in their own way. I mean, I've got a picture of how it is when I play it, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that when people hear it, that they play it, either I guess kind of the same way or slightly different, like whatever they create in their head, it's, it's all about creating an image. If people can see the song, they'll want to keep listening to it. And the, the visuals for it. So we went and filmed this out at a train yard in Picture Butte. Picture Butte. Yeah. Picture Butte. Can you just touch on like the, the visual, the aesthetics of it a little bit? Well, out at the Tractor Club in Picture Butte, they, they've transformed the whole area to kind of take it back in time. They've got, um, some old school houses that are from the early 1900s of just a bunch of cool old buildings and they have an old it's an old train bridge with the track on it and actually until until we recorded this song i i hadn't even thought of doing it out there uh, when my girlfriend mentioned it i it fit perfectly it fits um fits the song just like a glove mm, it turned out fantastic all right so where can people find more of your material um youtube's going to be my biggest platform but also Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you'll also find updates and stuff. 
Awesome. All right, thank you guys for joining us. We'll be announcing our next monthly featured artist shortly here, so make sure you check back for that. Mark Maxwell, it's been fantastic. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me.